Tonight on The Prophet, I go inside Sweet Pete's, a confectionery shop whose candy-obsessed owner has created a huge variety of sweets, but with a horrible location, a partnership gone bad, and an outdated kitchen that won't allow him to keep up with demand. There is a limit to the output, and you're the limit. Sweet Pete's is a candy store located in Jacksonville, Florida, specializing in chocolates and candy, handmade by master chocolatier Peter Berenger. Pete's love of sweets began at the age of 12 when he started making candy for his mom's shop, Peter Brook Chocolatier. But after a dispute, Pete left the business and was forced to start over from scratch. Sweet Pete's opened its doors in 2010. By 2012, it was doing over $400,000 in revenue but it posted a loss of 17,000. The stress has caused their partnership to crumble. You are a fraud. Sweet Pete's has a phenomenal product, but their lack of business savvy could ultimately be their demise. I can't do it. Walking up to Sweet Pete's, I can already see an issue. This retail shop is a converted house in the middle of a sleepy residential neighborhood. Allison? Yes. Marcus. Nice to meet you. How are you? you? Nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, I'm Pete. Nice Pete, to how meet are you? you? Nice to meet, nice you. To meet you. I was a little surprised at where the place is located. When we started this business, we had maybe a couple hundred dollars in our pocket or something crazy. We were not in a great financial position, and so someone offered us this place. We're putting everything we have into building this. We make lots and lots and lots of things by hand. It's what Sweet Pete specializes in. Things like caramels, hard candy, pulled sugar, chocolates, toffee. Can I see the kitchen? This is it. This is the whole kitchen? This is it. And they are maxed out. If they had more stoves, a walk-in cooler, drying racks, and space for people to actually work, their business could double or triple tomorrow. Um, we have a business partner, Dane Baird. He owns half of the company with us. I didn't know that. I thought it was just you guys. We don't see them very often. Can you break down kind of how your finances work, your summary of your finances? We're doing a close to 420,000 a year. And does the business make any money today? No. This year we lost about $17,000. The first year we made $10,000 combined. You can't live off 10,000 a year combined. We've been fighting with Dane over this. He doesn't want um, us to get paid at all. I tried to get $12 an hour and He's tried to block that. Why haven't you guys bought him out? I've tried, and he won't sell. I mean, we have tried this for six months now. Does he contribute? No. Hey! Oh, look at this wow. guy. Wow. Long time no see around I these know. parts. I know. That's what happens when you have a reality show, I guess, huh? You just show up. Hi, Peter. Hi. Long time no see. What, I mean, what is it that you want? What is it I want? Yeah. In terms, in terms of? of this business. Well, I like it Let's start to, there. to grow so it's profitable. I mean, that's. And what are you doing to contribute to that growth? Well, I mean, when I when I say, hey, look, let's get a business plan together and do it, and I just get a blank stare. It's hard to go. Not a blank stare, Dan. I think I think what we clearly said was we are would love to talk to you about a business plan, but let's handle this issue of fair compensation first. No, none of us were ever ever getting paid what we're worth, period. The first year, we made $10,000 together. We're well beyond qualified for that. I cannot spend time here in an unprofitable business knowing that I will never get but paid. But you expect us to do it. Right? That That is your choice. You're full of crap. I have, I have lost faith. We need to change dramatically well, then, okay, then, in then the leave. business. How do we how do we buy you out? What do you want? What I want is I believe in the product and I believe in the people. Tell me a number, Dane. So I, I don't want to sell. Do you want me right. to get in your face? Because hey, that's hey, your hey, face. Hey, hey. That's so Step unnecessary. Off. That's not necessary. Well, that was interesting. Yeah, a lot of passion. And so what are your thoughts? P and Allison are really talented. Uh -huh. But we've never had a plan. If I didn't come in, this would never have happened. Right. So how much in total dollars? Have you put into this business? From the start, two grand. Two thousand dollars. Yeah, that's, that's right. your total investment in the company. Right. Two thousand dollars. That's right. They want to buy you out so they can move on with their life. Why wouldn't you just take some nice return on your money and move on about your life and not have all the stress? I think this is this could go big. What happens if they just left here today? and they went and started somewhere else. As a shareholder of the firm, I would take issue with that tactic. Dang, slavery was outlawed a long time ago. They don't have to stay here. I have to come up with a deal that resolves their past issues and definitely minimizes their interaction. So here's my offer. Pete and Allison, my offer is $750,000. For my $750,000, I will own 50% of the business. You will own 50% of the business. 
Dane, I have no problem giving you back your original investment of 2000 at 5% interest, but you will get no equity. There's no justification for it. You will be 100% commission. If you perform like you've told me you're capable of performing, you will earn 5% equity a year, up to 15%. If you don't agree to this, they leave. I guess I don't have a lot of choices, right? You know, we've been fair on our end. We're sharing 50-50 in the profits. I'm 100% in charge. So we have a deal? <laughs> we have a deal? This Marcus, doesn't happen you. every day. No, it doesn't happen thank every day. Thank you. I did this deal because I think the model is unique. The fact that you actually bring people in and you teach them how to make candy is something that I think separates us from everybody. A large order. What is it? Uh, 100 purple this. and white lollipops, 100 green and white lollipops, 100 blue and white lollipops, 600 salted caramels, and 100 dark cherry cordials. And they want it overnight at tomorrow. No. Sure. Yeah, huh? Pete, can you make 300 lollipops on Tuesday? Um, let me figure this out. We have a $2,000 order. We have to get it done. Let's get working on this. <laughs> So you could do fondant, whatever you want. Can you help us wrap, Dane? Yeah, I'll help you a little bit. Hey, Allison, um, I, had, uh, I didn't realize it was going to be all day, but I was planning to yeah, head back and, you know, just take it all in. Mm-hmm. We'll go talk to Marcus. OK. Why are you leaving now? Right now, I'm having difficulty. Yeah, I just feel like I'm not a cook, right? I'm not a candy man. Looking good. Looking good. I'm glad that we got it done, and this is good, but we got to come up with a better process. So the reason that I think you're short in revenue is because you have a very, very tough location, hard to find. If we perfected a 5,000 square foot space that had a kitchen mm -hmm. and a classroom, and a store. Yeah. I mean, it could be a great model. Yeah. We've said that so many right. times that he shut us down. <laughs> we we crafted this building, right? We paid for it, right? You and own it. And I, I understand. And you get paid rent. I put my heart and soul into this business, just you like did? you have for three years. Just like I have? Are and you really you guys, gonna say that? You know, so, no, 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 no. I wanna so, understand I mean, this. I, Help me understand. You put your heart and soul into this business just the way I have. Is that what you're saying? We're different people. No, I'm asking, it's a yes or no question, yes. Dane. Yes. Until we really? start agreeing. We grind it out and we're here tomorrow. We'll be here the day after that and the day after that and the day after that. I don't care how hard it gets. I will be here. Where are you? Nowhere. You're blowing with the wind, brother. What is it that you ultimately want? $150,000. For what? Taking the vision and concept and getting the thing going. You want to basically just hang on for the ride. And you're telling me that, right. that I'm supposed to pay you for all this work? I don't need you. I, I'm not no longer in support of what I agreed to verbally. I'm just not. And so you're not honoring your handshake? I am not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lend Pete and Allison money. And they're going to put money into the business. So over time, if we keep putting money in and money in and money in and money in, you're going to get diluted down 6% to 5%, 3 to 3%, to 2%, to 1%, to a half of 1%. By doing that, you're essentially not going to be in charge anymore. And honestly, Dane, the reason I came to this resolution is because when we were here, all of us, busting our fannies, trying to make things work to get this order filled, what did you do? You walked out the front door, and you handed me your apron. And honestly, I don't want to be partners with somebody like that. So we're moving on. Right. You guys will be in charge, which you want. And so you you get what you want. And you get what you want. Well, playfully disagree, so. Oh, OK. The other thing we wanted to let you know is that we're not going to stay in this location. What do you think? Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> that's awesome, Marcus. I like the tagline. It's, it's got a kitchen that's built out, plenty of space for classrooms. We can do a lot of cool things do down Do you believe here. it? I can't. It's just unbelievable. Thank you. So I have one more surprise for them to show them how we're going to make money starting tomorrow. You ready? Turn around. I went out and bought us three mobile marketing vehicles. I got him a pickup truck, 
a concession trailer, and a corporate delivery vehicle. Thanks, man. The definition of an entrepreneur is somebody that has the willingness to try things and the strength to understand that failure is an option. But more importantly, the guts and the courage to get up and try again. Are you that person? What's my value? Are you asking me that? No, I know what it is. That so confidence is what I love about you. The Profit, all new Tuesdays, 10 Eastern. CNBC, get yours.